Hello and welcome to the van build vlog, or not so much the build vlog as a tweaking vlog. I need to make a slight change to something in the van. Now, if you were expecting this to be the vlog of my weekend away, at the time of filming this, that hasn't happened. That'll be this coming weekend, but by the time you're watching this, it was probably last weekend. Either way, uh, I won't have had time to actually edit the footage by the time you see this, which is why you're seeing this one, if that makes sense. But hopefully the van tour vlog will be the next vlog after this, the one where I go in the van to Wales. My plan for today is to rejig the exhaust pipe coming out of the Propex heater. Let me show you why. The Propex heater is underneath the sink unit, which you'll know if you saw my earlier build vlogs. Let me see if I can get you a view of it. There it is, that blue box. And Normally these things are installed such that they're on the floor of the van and the exhaust pipe and air inlet pipe go straight out the bottom and for reasons explained in prior vlogs I couldn't do that. So mine is up on, uh, there we go, up on this shelf over the wheel arch and then the air inlet and exhaust drop down that way and then go out the back and down the floor right in the corner of the van and it pretty much had to be done that way. The ready brown pipe is the hot exhaust pipe going out of the heater and down through the floor and the ready brown wrap is an exhaust wrap, a heat wrap if you like, that well stops the pipe being too hot to touch and setting the whole van on fire. However, having run the heater for a test, it still gets very, very hot. I mean, it's an exhaust pipe. I know it's sort of self-explanatory, but I was hoping that that heat wrap would effectively make it cool to the touch. And that was obviously over optimistic of me because it still does get very, very warm. And because it's running through the van, albeit for a very short distance, perhaps half a metre I suppose, perhaps half a metre. I don't like it being hot. So I've bought something else. Hang on. Um, oh, sorry about that. I've bought some of this, which is another exhaust wrap that people put around car exhaust and motorbike exhausts. And you, it's a sort of cloth type, high temperature cloth stuff. And I'm gonna wrap that around the existing heat wrap and make it double insulated. That of course sounds straightforward in theory, but there is the issue of how I get to the pipe in there to put the new wrap round it. Because really I need to get underneath the Propex, which means going in to the woodwork there that I didn't leave an access hatch. I mean, this was this was silly. I did not leave an access hatch in that woodwork to get to the pipes as they drop out of the Propex. And it's going to be a little bit awkward getting to it there as well, obviously. And I can't now move the gas locker. You see, when I put it in, this wasn't all plumbed in. But now I've got fixed copper pipes all going into the gas locker and so on. I can't just take that out. I'd have to remake the last bit of the copper piping, and I don't want to do that because that's all part of the gas safety, which has been checked by a gas safe motorhome engineer. If I remake it, I'd have to get it all rechecked again. So the locker is staying where it is, and that's kind of made my life a lot more difficult. The plan then is to make a hole in this side panel, which is just covering the wheel arch, so that I can get to where the exhaust pipe connects to the bottom of the heater, disconnect it, pull the pipe through from underneath the van and then wrap it with the new wrap and then put it all back again. The first job, fairly straightforward, is take the hot air pipe off just to make access a little more easy under there. And as you can see, that's just a, um, ah, I've forgotten the name of those things. Jubilee clip? Yes, I think so. Right, that's off. That was the easy part. Now, as for cutting a hole into that wood I can't use a jigsaw because the pipes from the Propex are on the other side of it and I'd probably end up cutting them so I'm going to very very gently have a go with using my 
vibrating multi-tool with a wood cutting bit on the end. I couldn't show you me doing that because it was a two-handed job and there was no space to put the camera in there but look I have cut roughly an oblong hole so I can get underneath the Propex. Crucially the point is I can now access the exhaust pipe and the air inlet pipe and the Jubilee clips all holding them in place. That was massively fiddly in no small part due to me having originally put the Jubilee clip so that it was facing the other side so I had to get my hands right in and round couldn't see what I was doing but finally managed to undo the Jubilee clip holding the exhaust pipe on and as you can see there it is now freed so I can now just pull it out the bottom of the van and go and wrap it and there it is pulled free from its little path out through the van. The next job then is to wrap this round it, secure it with Jubilee clips or uh, metal cable ties which they supply some for the job. I'm told, having read the reviews, this stuff's quite fibrous and itchy so I'm going to go and do this next bit outside. Well, there it is, and it occurred to me, after I'd done it of course, that I could have done it the other way round, taken the existing ready brown wrap off, wrapped the pipe with the new stuff, and then pushed the ready brown wrap on top of that, because it was quite loose, it was quite loose fitting, and that would have perhaps made it look a little neater, a little tidier. On the other hand, the ready brown wrap, for reasons that I can't remember, was cut into two pieces, and at least having this wrap like that sort of hides the join. Either way, it is two layers of heat shielding wrap, so now all I need to do is somehow wedge it back into position, bearing in mind that it's going to be a bit less flexible than it was, so I'm just going to have to squish it down the hole and hope for the best. Houston, we have a problem. Because it's bulging out a bit due to the layers of wrap, it won't now go through the flipping hole. And there's no way I can enlarge that hole. So I think I've tried squishing it, it won't go. I actually might have to go with what I just suggested which is take the whole thing off, put the wrap under the wrap, put the old wrap on top of it, because I think there'll be less squidging. The old wrap's been a bit squidged by me putting the new wrap on top of it. If I do it the other way round, there should be less squidging and it might still go through the hole. It seems to be my only option, I think. Right, with no small amount of swearing, I have re-wrapped the thing with the new wrap on the inside and then the old wrap just slid over. So hopefully now it's less thick overall and will still go through the hole. If this doesn't work, I suppose I just have to put it back the way it was and regard this as a failed experiment. Exciting news, it does go through the hole. So now I've just got to wrangle it all back into place. The light of the day is going, I'm afraid, but as you can see, I've reconnected the air hose, this duct thing here. And I don't think I can show you, but in there I have resecured the exhaust with its new double wrap with a Jubilee clip. Very hard to get to, but at least I can get to it with that access. And now over here, again, you may not see a lot here. And they're all very dark. You can just about make it out. There we go. There's the pipe. And it looks the same, but underneath that wrap is now the other wrap. So it is double wrapped and secured outside as it was before. So now, time to test it. Right, I've just switched the Propex heater on. You can probably hear it. 
air is rushing out of the vent. It's currently cold because I've just switched it on, but in a second it should start getting hot. The heat has just switched itself into turbo mode. It all suddenly stepped up a gear. I heard a relay click and everything suddenly went ballistic and there is a smell of warmth. Yep, that is mildly warm air coming out. It will get warmer in a second. And all I'm really going to do is put my hand on the exhaust and see how hot that gets now it's double wrapped. Well the heater's been running for about five minutes. It's getting really really warm in here. I don't know if you can see but just there it's not really showing up but what my finger is tapping is the exhaust pipe. So I'm just going to put my hand on it. Now I'm holding the exhaust pipe in my fingertips which one would obviously not normally be able to do. It is, it is hot. Let's, there's no getting around it. It is hot. But the fact is I can put my hand on it. Ooh, ah. Yeah, I wouldn't want to leave my hand on that for long. But I can. So that's good. And again, right here, I'm tapping it with my fingernail. That is literally where the exhaust comes out the bottom of the unit. And that's only got a single layer of the new wrap on it because the old wrap wouldn't go around the corner. Now I'm, I can touch that. Yeah, again, I wouldn't want to leave my hand on it, but I can touch it. It's pretty stinking hot. But I wouldn't want to be touching the metal underneath. Now if I just hold my hand in the bay underneath the heater, this is not the most gripping television, I grant you. But, I mean, it's warm, but only... It's probably 40 degrees, I suppose, centigrade. It's like a hot day in there. Nothing worse. Right, I'll pop outside, see how hot the bit is getting down near the gas pipe. All right, let's just see how hot it is right at the end. Oh, that's lukewarm. Right, it's been running for about 10 minutes now, and that is literally lukewarm. I can... I mean, that's kind of like a nice, warm, home central heating radiator temperature not not even that hot actually so that's cool a little warm spot just there right let's venture up I think I have to accept you're not going to be able to see this but I'm reaching in to grab the pipe the hot air pipe as it comes out the bottom of the van and passes by the filler pipe for the gas cylinder and that is I mean, it's bath temperature, that is, not even a hot bath. I'm very pleased with that. Yeah, I can keep my hand on that quite happily. I was concerned about the exhaust pipe being close to the gas filler pipe. But actually, that's fine. If I even take my hand off by just a centimetre, it's stone cold. Good. Well, I'm very pleased with that after a lot of swearing and trying to get my hands into tiny little places to take the thing off and put the thing back on again and wrap it and unwrap it and all that palaver. I think it has made a difference. The end that is nearest the heater does obviously still get stinking hot, but not so stinking hot that I can't touch it. I'd say it's 80, 90 degrees Celsius, something it's practically near boiling. And further down, where it exits the van, it's lukewarm at best, and that is good because that's down near where the gas filler pipe inlet is, and I was worried about that. So, yeah, I think that was definitely worthwhile doing.